In this lecture, let's learn how we can retrieve the data which the user has entered into the form controls and how to display that data in the web page. Now, we already know that we can retrieve the form data of each of the form controls from the value property of ng form object. So here, this ng form object has been logged when this form has been submitted. And when I expand this ng form object, if I scroll down, there we have this value property. And in that value property, we have a property with each of these form control names. For example, for the first name, the form control name is first name. With that, we have a property here. In the same way, for the last name, we have a form control. We have an input element in the HTML with the name last name. And with that name, a property has been created inside this value property. Then for the username also, we have a control called username. And with that name, a property has been created here. So here we have this username property. Similarly, we have a property for gender. So for these radio buttons, we have provided a name called gender. And with that name, a property has been created here. In the same way, we have also created a form group called address. So with that form group name, a property has been created inside this value property. And in that form group, we have these controls. So we have this street one control, street two control, the city control, country control, region and postal code control. So a property for each of these controls will be created inside this address form group, inside this address object, as you can see. So in order to read the value of a form control from a template driven form, we can make use of this value property. And we are already doing that. So if I go to VS code and if I go to app component.ts, before we are submitting the form, we are reading the value of this first name property from the controls property of the ng form object. And then in order to read last name, email, country and city, we are making use of this value property of ng form object. Now, currently we are simply logging it in the developer console. But instead of logging it in the developer console, what we want is we want to show these data in the web page. So we can do it in several ways. One of the ways is that you can create some properties like we are already creating this first name, last name, email address and date of birth property. In the same way, we can also create other properties like gender, country, city, then let's say region. And let's also create a postal property. And now instead of logging these values in the console, what we want is we want to assign these values to these properties. So here I'll simply go ahead and I will comment this console.log statement or what I will do is I will simply remove it from here. Now what we want is we want to set this first name property with the first name property of value object. So here let's say this dot first name equals this dot form dot value dot first name. So in the value object, we have this first name property, which will store the value which the user has entered inside the first name input element. In the same way, let's also do it for last name, email, gender, city, country, and other properties. And here the property name is email address. Then let's set the value for country property. And in the value object, we have a property called address. And in that address, we have a property called country. Then let's do the same thing for city. And here in the address property, we have a city property. Then in the address, we also have a region property. And I want to send the value stored in this region property to the region property of this app component class. And finally, we also have a postal property inside this address property of value object. And I want to assign the value stored in this postal property to the postal property of app component. So in this app component, we have created this postal property. To this, we are assigning the value which the user has entered in the postal input element. With this, let's save the changes. Now, we are 
storing the values which the user has entered in these properties. Now what we want is, we want to display the data stored in these properties in the web page. For that, what I'll do is, in the app component.html, I'm going to write some HTML. So after this form, I'll write some HTML to display the data which the user has entered in the form elements. And in order to save some time, I've already written some HTML. So I'll copy it from here and I'll paste it here. Okay, so here we want to display the user full name his email address, his username, date of birth, and we also want to display the address like country, city, region, and postal code. Okay, so using this HTML, we will display the details of the user. Now, in order to design this HTML, I've also written some CSS. So let's grab that CSS from here and let's paste it inside the app component.css. All right, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And now you will notice that after this form, we also have one more section where we are displaying the details of the user. Now, currently these details are hard coded. So now instead of displaying the hard coded data, we want to display the data which the user has entered in the form. For that, let's go back to VS Code. Let's go to appcomponent.html. And here we want to display the user's full name. So we want to display the user first name and last name. So for that, I'll use string interpolation syntax here and here I'll use first name property. So in the app component, we have a first name property and that is going to store the data which the user has entered inside the first name input element. In the same way, we also have a last name property. So after the first name, we also want to display the value stored in the last name property and this last name property, it is going to store the data which the user has entered inside the last name input element. Similarly, here we want to display the data which the user has entered inside the email field for that we are storing that data in the email address property then here we want to display the username now for the username we have not created any property so let's quickly go ahead and let's create a property for username so here let's create a property called username okay it is going to be of type string and initially let's set it with empty string and let's make this n caps so we also want to set this username property with the username which the user has entered in the username input element so let's say this dot username equals let me copy this line so this username is not grouped in the address form group it is present inside the value object itself so on the value object, we will have a property called username. So we are now reading that username value and we are assigning to this username property. So let me close this CSS file here. So here we are going to use that username property. Okay, then here we want to display the date of birth. Again, I'll use string interpolation syntax. And for the date of birth, we are creating a property called DOB but we have not assigned that property with the value which the user has selected in the date of birth field. So here again, let's say this dot DOB equals and again in the value object. So you can say this dot form dot value and in that value object, we will have a DOB property. So whatever date of birth user has selected, we want to assign it to this DOB property of app component class. Okay, so here we want to display the value stored in DOB property of app component class. Then here we want to display the value stored in the country property. So here I will use that country property of app component. Here I'll use the city property of app component. Here I will use the region property of app component. And here I'll use the postal code property. Okay. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. Let's see if we have any error. Okay, so far we don't have any error. And if I scroll down, currently you will see nothing is being displayed here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's enter a first name. Let's enter last name. And now if I scroll down, you will see that the first name and last name has been populated here. It is being displayed here. Now, we have not submitted the form, but still this first name and last name is being displayed here. That's because 
if I go back and if we scroll up for this first name and last name we are using two-way data binding so here we have the first name property and on that if you notice we are using two-way data binding but now what I will do is I will simply remove this two-way data binding because we want to retrieve the value of first name input element only when the submit button is clicked so I'll remove it from here then here also we are using this two-way data binding on this last name so let me remove it from here as well okay then on this email also we are using two-way data binding I'll remove it from here then let me see if we are using two-way data binding anywhere else so on the date of birth also we are using two-way data binding so let's remove it from here all right and then we are not using two-way data binding anywhere else all right so now if i go to the web page here we have one error and it says no directive found with export ng model all right so from the first name since we have removed the ng model directive now it is not taking it as a form control for this form so we wanted to remove only two-way data binding but we wanted to use the ng model but since we have removed it this ng model does not contain any value now so here let's also use ng model because once we use ng model then only this input element will become a form control for this form which we are defining here let me do the same thing for last name as well so i think from the last name input element also i have removed that ng model so let's use it here then let's use it on the email as well let me scroll down on the date of birth also we need to use the ng model and in other places we already have this ng model okay let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now there is no error so now when i enter first name when i enter last name now if i scroll down you see now it is not showing it now it will only show it once the submit button is clicked let's enter some email let's select date of birth let's specify a username let's select street address one let's select city so new delhi country is already selected as india region ncr postal code may be two three four five six seven all right now when i click on this submit button this form will reset so as you can see the form has reset but the details are being displayed here okay so in this way we can read the value of each of the form controls using this value property of ng form object and then we can store that value in some properties and then we can display it accordingly now here in the avatar i want to display the initials of first name and last name for that what i will do is let's go back and let's go to that section where we are displaying the details so here currently it is hard coded now what i want is here i want to display the first letter from the first name so for that i can say first name dot and on that i'm going to use splice method and i want to extract the first letter from the first name for that the first letter will be present as the index zero so i'll pass the starting index as zero and we want to extract only one character from the first name so here i'll say one then i'll also convert it to uppercase in the same way let me copy this expression from here and we also want to extract the first letter from the last name so here instead of using first name property i'll use last name property with this let's save the changes let's go back to the web page and here we have an error and it says splice does not exist on type string all right here i wanted to use slice method actually okay and here also it should be slice let's save the changes now let's go to the web page so the error is gone let's select the first name let's select the last name let's select email let's select a date of birth let's select a username let's select street address city postal code and let's select the country as japan let's click on the submit button form has been reset and the details are being displayed here okay so now you can see here in this avatar the initials from this first name has been taken all right so here what we are doing is in order to read the data which the user has inputted inside the 
form controls first we are creating some properties and then we are assigning those properties with the value with some value by reading the properties of this value object of ng form so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day